Yo, what's up all? Wyatt Hurts back with some more home front action from the OnLive game service. This time we're playing Crossroads. It's a team deathmatch. It's Battle Commander. And it's the gold standard, you know. Enough said. Gold standard. If you don't know what the gold standard is yet on my channel, then, uh, well, uh, then you're out of luck. That's all you're going to hear about, uh, about what I'm carrying. Anyway, a quick death and really bad round or a bad start to this round. And it's all, at most of it, a lot of it, comes at the ha at CP11's hands, you know. He really does stick it to me early on here. Uh, so you will see several deaths here uh, in quick succession with very little, you know, work done on my part. Here, miss the knife. You know, a nice little sidestep by Whaley, Whaley Lamb. What the, f what the hell kind of name is that, son? By Layman there. We'll call him Layman. Nice little sidestep to evade my knife, and uh, does put me down really, really quickly. I do get this kill on Awesome Alex with a little bit of patience here, but uh, do draw some attention to myself in the process. So this little run is quickly put to rest. You, know, you can't even call it a run. When, when it's just one, it's not even a run. It's just a... Uh, it's just a step. I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it. Not Certainly not a run there. And Chaz, I kind of misjudged where he was. I thought maybe he was coming around the rock on me. I tried to step around it for a little bit of cover and actually just exposed myself to the fire he was putting my way. Uh, coming back here, Dr. Slow. See him rushing. Rushing up to this, uh, this second level on these stairs. I'm... I'm planning to get there. Awesome Alex, one more time. And if you noticed, you did see Dr. Slow dive out of there just at the last second. Just perfect timing. I go in for the kind of the blind knife on him. I wanted to make sure he wasn't laying down there prone, waiting for me at the top of the stairs. So he does get away here. Uh, I, I have to be aware, you know, some bad firing by my on my part, but there are a lot of guys over here. And uh, I did get one or two kills. Eventually, CP sneaking in behind me, putting me down. Kind of just badly played on my part. Uh, that whole little, how that played out. And then right here, the fastest <laughs> two kills on one person, probably in home front history. Must be a record. CP11 on me. Uh, just uh, stacking up my corpses in a matter of probably, what, six or seven seconds there. Killed me twice. God damn it. So I'm raging at this point, guys. Really, seriously. I probably was. If I remember right, I think I was probably a couple of uh, uh, keys had popped out of the keyboard after I slammed it down on the desktop. Um... So I'm, I'm, the keyboard is now crippled, and there's Cripple with a gun, speaking of cripples. Sorry, Cripple, if you really are crippled, man, I don't mean to, uh, to offend anybody, just, just a little segue there. And there's Silent, finally Silent Cougar, getting into a video. Another one of those guys that I used to play with a lot, uh, back in the day. It's good to see these guys, like Crypto, Eeyore, you know, Nacho going back a little ways there. Uh, Silent, and other guys that I spent a lot of time playing with while I was working my way up through the ranks of this game. Uh, and now a nice, I, I, you know, I'm not big on tubing, but that was a nice, despite the fact that I was raging at this point. After, you know, I don't know what it is, probably like a seven, seven death count at this point. Um, a, a good little proximity missile there, you know. Um, that's, that's the way to do it. You know, I can respect that because it was tactically used to kind of get me off of an advantageous position. So, but I do come back in in the scout. It is on veteran, and I do kind of turn the tide, you know, in this scout run. 34 to 4,000 right now. We are losing. Um, and I come in here to do, uh, do just, I, I really do tear it up. I'm looking for some revenge, really, to uh, to justify all those deaths that, that came in early on. And I do do that, you know. There's big numbers at the end, despite that awful start to the game. Now, veteran, veteran flying. I want to discuss it a little bit. Uh, try and you know, I'll do my best here to to uh, um, verbalize how the differences between veteran and and ace. You know what you're basically getting is you're getting us. You're, you're going to fall. For, I've discussed if you if you haven't watched my videos, go back and find one where I'm talking about ace. Um, there's plenty of them out there. But basically, when you're flying on veteran, you will. Your, your altitude loss is less, is, is uh, minimized, you know. So you're not falling out of the sky quite as quickly, but you are still dropping from the sky. So you can, uh, you notice here, uh, I've discussed it in the past, where when you tilt your nose forward, that, uh, that, that drop, that altitude loss becomes more severe because you don't have as much uh, upward, or, or sorry, lift being generated by your propellers. Um, so... That is kind of kept in check in when you're flying on veteran, and it's a lot easier to fly when you're going after ground targets. It will give you another couple seconds to try and line up the, sh the target if you need to, and and finish him off as you're flying by him, you know, flying over top of him. And you can pull yourself out of those nose dives uh, a little bit easier. Kind of what you don't get from from veteran that you do get with ace. Obviously, you have a little bit more. It feels like you have a little bit more, and I could be wrong about this, but it feels like you have a little bit more kind of torque to your thrust. You can you can get moving uh, upward or, or you, you can ascend or descend a little bit faster, you know. 
uh, when you level out your propellers with the ground. And, and obviously on Ace you can get much higher. Not too much higher though. Veteran, the altitude peak is right in there, right in the middle where it should be between kind of your rookie settings uh, altitude cap and your Ace settings altitude cap. So it does become, you can be competitive in the skies against the Ace pilots when they get up to those higher levels. You're not always at that kind of terrible disadvantage. Because when you get, when the Ace pilots get up to that way up there at their cap, they have, there's nowhere else to go but down, and they slowly drift down, so they can't hold that very extreme high altitude for, for extended periods of time, especially when they're aiming downwards, because it, when they aim downwards, it causes them to fall out of the sky. So you can maintain kind of a competitive level uh, with the ace pilots when you're flying on veteran. So really, that's it. You know, it's just it's that middle ground. It's a really comfortable middle ground between rookie and ace settings, and uh, there's CP11. Sticking it to him, that guy, he was really sticking it to me early on in the game. So I uh, just haven't noticed that I killed him there. I wanted to call that out. Uh, a little revenge. And uh, again, there, awesome Alex. Put him down. He really was my bread and butter this round. Another kill on Silent, who has been priding himself during this recording session. Uh, since I've seen him back playing again with a little more consistency. Uh, who was really priding himself on taking out my choppers. And was doing a great job of it. But you know what? There was just those matches, unfortunately, for you, Silent, uh, ended up on the cutting room floor. You know, they just didn't make it. Because of you, sir. Because of you. So I thought I'd throw that in there, L let the you know the viewers know that you were sticking it to me uh, with your with your taking out my choppers, doing your thing, doing what you do, putting me down and uh, clipping my wings, so to speak. But anyway, the tide has turned. As I said, it's now 96 to 89. We're in, we're now in the lead, and it's just a matter of just holding on to it, coming into the final stretch here. Got out of that last little standoff there uh, by the skin of my teeth, by the by the shortened curlies, and I don't know why I was pulling out the. Uh, the proximity launcher, but I was. 10,000 to 9,000, so a little comeback victory there, and, and a terrible start. You know, the death's not great, <laughs> 27 and 8, but, you know, I really did make up for it uh, during that flight in the scout. And Bogweed, I, I didn't even mention him. It's been a long time since I've seen him in a video, and, and like I said, these guys are heli hunters. Between Bogweed and Jazz, uh, they're known for scrapping my choppers pretty pretty consistently, so it was nice to see them on my team, and even, you know, Silent and CP on the other team are also uh, notorious for taking down my, my bird. But anyway, let's run down some numbers besides me there. Bogweed, 15 and 5 by the looks of things. Uh, good round for him. Jazz, 11 and 4, you know, usual. Um, well, maybe not quite the usual, but he, he always posts a good a good KDR. Maybe not always the strongest numbers, but always, more than likely, a good KDR. On the other side, CP11, really my nemesis that game. 18 and 9, a 2 to 1 KDR, so good for him. Uh, and he led the team, and, uh, you know, not a lot else going on there. Silent Cougar, 7 and 5. Even Chaz there with a 10 and 8, not bad, not bad. And uh, actually, looking back at my team, little, little Makilu here, 3 and 12. Come on, man. Pick up the slack. That's that's bloody awful, sir. We're lucky we won. You were the cause uh, between, actually, I was more or less the cause of our, our early demise, our early, uh, that deficit that formed early on, all those deaths that piled up on me at, at the start of the game. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, please do leave a like, a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Help spread the word. It's much appreciated. And until next time, remember why it hurts. Later, all.